guys, it's Kirsten, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to glow. And what I mean by that is that, um, honey, you're gonna be going to the gods after this. Someone's gonna have to wear some sunglasses after they look at you, okay? So if you want to learn how to glow, then please keep on watching. Okay, so, um, again, don't mind my acne. I do not know what is going on at all with it, so. Again, just please don't mind it. I'm putting stuff on it. I called dermatologist. I don't know what's going on, so. My skin is just breaking out like crazy and it's just in this area. If you guys have any suggestions as to how to get rid of it, then please let me know in the comments because I'm so sick of this already. Okay, so to start with this tutorial, you want to make sure your skin is nice and primed. So I have just moisturizer on like usual. I'm gonna have my acne cream on my forehead. So the mist that I have is the Mario Badescu Facial Rose Water Spray. I love this stuff. It smells so good and it works so good. If you put it on before and after all your makeup, your skin will just look so dewy. So before anything, you wanna make sure that your skin is nice and prepped and primed, like I said. You can see um, like a little bit of a shine over here and some shininess over here. And over here and over here you're not gonna have a nice base unless you prep and prime your skin so like I said moisturizer and primer are the best things for you right now everything based in this video is going to be a lot of creams so I'm going to be using this all over my face and just like all over my like body like this part right here so I'm just gonna be spraying this two hours later Okay, so after the Mario Badescu Rose Water, I'm gonna be using a illuminating primer. So I'm gonna be using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in uh, Opal. So it's this, it's like a little like travel thing. So I'm just gonna be taking a little bit on my hands, a little bit here. So it's gonna go on my forehead, on my cheeks. And this is just gonna give us a nice and illuminating base for all of our foundation so that when you when it sits on top of it, it's gonna be nice and shiny and dewy looking. So I'm just gonna be putting that all over my skin. So as you can see, I look like a grease ball right now. Um, so you just wanna pat that into the skin so you look like a glazed donut, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be using a foundation. Now I'm going to be using, now I have my Estee Lauder one, but I don't want to use that because it's very full coverage. And I'm using this one. So this is my Maybelline Fit Me, and this is in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. And I love this stuff because it's dewy. So you want to use, if you can, a dewy foundation. And if you have like acne like I do underneath, um, you can do a concealer, but I'm just gonna do it after so that we like, we look, you know, like highlighted and stuff. Using my Fit Me Foundation in 120 with my Damp Beauty Blender. You wanna use a uh, Damp Beauty Blender because that makes the skin even more dewy and it makes it less full coverage, which is kind of what we want today because full coverage means cakey and sometimes it doesn't, but you don't want your skin to be too flawless. Cause you, this, the glow is basically like a natural kind of thing in my opinion. So I'm just gonna be going over my acne and all over my skin. So as you can see, this foundation is very shiny and we want that for this look because like I said, it's gonna be dewy. So now that your face is nice and shiny, I'm just gonna be using a little bit of concealer and I'm gonna be using my Tarte Shape Tape like always. And I'm literally just gonna be taking a little bit. I just want to brighten my under eyes, not really anywhere else. A little bit on my forehead, on my blemishes, a little bit on my nose and a little bit on my chin. I don't want that much because I do wanna be highlighted for this look but I don't want to look too, too much, you know what I mean? Cause you do want to look like you've been sitting out in the sun all day, you know? So you do want to look pretty flawless. 
but not too flawless so that you look like Kiki. You know what I'm thinking. Okay, so now before you put any powder on, I'm going to be putting on a liquid highlight. So I want this look to be very bronzy and pretty, so I'm just going to be using me, me. I'm going to be using my Sephora Lumi Drops in Ultra Light and open it and I'm just going to take it on my cheeks. And I'm just going to be blending it with my beauty blender. It just gives it a little bit of an extra glow so that when you put the highlight on later on, it sticks even better onto it so it's even more highlighted. You know what I mean? Okay, so when you're done with the base, you want to just set your under eyes. So I'm going to be using my... Laura Mercier powder and translucent and I just want to put I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna dip a little bit into this and just go right underneath my eyes now if you have oily skin you might want to set your whole face just with a light dusting of this and I recommend this instead of like a powder powder or you can even use like a translucent pressed powder like the Rimmel Stay Matte one or whichever um, because you don't want this to be a matte look you want everything to be nice and dewy and shiny but obviously you don't want to look too shiny but you look greasy so whichever that you're comfortable with you can also if you put too much shine you can also just like dust a little bit of highlight on there too so it honestly doesn't really matter okay so now just with a large fluffy brush I'm just gonna be dusting off the bake the under eyes right here making sure okay now that everything else is done for the base I'm gonna do my brows and I will be right back okay so now that I'm done with my brows I'm going to be using my fit me so okay so Next, I'm going to be bronzing my face, so I'm going to be using a cream product, and if you guys have been watching my videos for a little bit, I've said that I liked using a cream for, like, a, um, a cream, well, I said I liked using a foundation for, like, a cream um, contour because I think it blends out very well. So I'm using 322 Warm Honey, and this is in the matte and poreless one for the Fit Me foundation, but it's alright. So um, I'm going to be taking just a little bit, so literally like a little dot, and I know it looks a lot, but I'm going to be taking it just like this, and it's okay if you put it on after like the little bit of powder because you're not going to blend it up there anyway. So I'm going to be doing just a little bit on my forehead, and I'm going to wipe off the excess because I got a little bit too much. I'm just going to be blending it with my beauty blender just up into my hairline so that that way you can still have the glow with without a powder product so now that I'm done with that, I'm going to be doing a blush. So I'm going to be taking my Benefit Benny Tint because it's a cream product. Again, I don't really want to use any powders. So I just put like a little bit, just so we have like a little bit of a slight rosy tint to our face so we don't like totally zombied out. Okay, so for the best part and the part that basically only matters, highlight of course, okay. So what I'm going to be doing, so I have a couple products I'm going to show you. So I'm going to show you all the highlighters that I have that I really like that really glow me up. So I have the Nicole Guerrero palette, my glow kit. Everyone knows I love this palette to death. And it's, you can see it's like dirty because I use it literally all the time. So glow getter and, um, Kitty Cat and Forever Young are my favorite shades. Um, Glow Getter is my favorite favorite shade because it's like a bronzy color. I have the ABH Glow Kit. This is the one in Gleam. I think this is like the first one. Um, this is the color I usually use, Crushed Pearl. 
Um, you can also use Starburst. I have like a lighter complexion, so that's why I use those colors. Um, I have the Max Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. I love this stuff too. So pretty. I have my Smolder Cosmetics bag if you guys saw my most blinding highlight video you guys would know about this stuff um i'm there's like the potion too i have the potion with it i also have the becca shimmering skin perfector in moonstone so i'll show you that too so i have this one also they're all so beautiful. I have a couple others, but I didn't take them out because those are really not the ones that I use the most. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be spraying my face with the Mario Badescu Rose Water again. Kind of make sure that everything's in place and nice and highlighted. And I'm going to be taking my Nicole Guerrero palette and everyone knows I'm obsessed. And with my contour brush from Real Techniques, it's not a contour brush, but I use it as my highlight brush. So I'm going to be taking Glow Getter right here. So this is this middle shade, just on my brush. So I have like, like a little bit of product on there. And so as you can see, so as you can see, when I turn my face, you can already see the highlight and I literally didn't even put anything on yet. So what I'm going to be doing, so as you can see, I'm literally gonna be taking it so I take it in one stroke like this and I just put do it in small circular motions all over my face and I go right next to my my brow and I go right onto my forehead area so that everything looks 3d and not 2d so I'm gonna be doing that same thing on the other side just like this I am literally obsessed with this palette so much I love it so for my nose, I take it with my finger and I go right on my nose, just like that. And I make a little explanation point, just like that. And then to blend it, I just take my brush and make sure everything's nice and blended. And I also take a little bit on my forehead right in the center and I go right up to my hairline. And I'm gonna take a little bit on my cupid's bow and a little bit on my chin. So as you can see, I look nice and highlighted and pretty. I'm also going to be taking a little bit and putting it on my collarbones just so you know, everything is glow because put a little bit on here so that everywhere and everything is nice and glowy, you see? So very quickly on top of that, I'm going to be using my Moonstone Becca Shimmering, uh, Moonstone Becca things, Shimmering Skin Perfector, yes. I'm going to be taking the same brush and I'm just going to be taking it on my brush. Now this is like a little bit of a lighter shade, so I'm just going to be putting it just up here. I just think it adds a little bit of an extra glow onto everything else. So I'm just going to be taking that on top of it just so it's a little, you know, extra oof. And then I'm literally just going to be putting mascara on. That is it. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to be taking Forever Lit in this palette. And I'm just going to be putting it right on the inner corner so that literally everything is brightened up and pretty. Again. And last but not least, lips. I'm going to be using a lip gloss. Um, I like to use a gloss when I'm trying to look glowy because I'm um, claw shiny, you know what I mean? My whole face is shiny. So I wish I had a clear gloss because I really want it, but because that would be perfect for this look. But I'm going to be using Fortune Cookie and NYX um, Butter Gloss. And I'm just going to be putting a little bit. Hey guys! This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is so much fun to film. I freaking, this is my favorite like look ever to create ever. I mean, everyone knows if you guys have been watching my channel, I'm obsessed with highlights. If you guys enjoyed, then please thumbs up the video and subscribe to my channel. I promise I will be posting more and more and more and more and more. I'm gonna be very consistent because I freaking love doing this. It's so fun and it's my passion. 
So I'd really appreciate if you guys subscribe to me and if you like to see more glow videos like this or reviews or try-ons or anything like that, then please let me know in the comments down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so, so much for watching my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.